Welcome in, everybody, to the Faithful Studios. I am Tyson, Faithfully Bearded, and if you follow along, you know that on Monday we unbox a particular company, we spend all week long with the company, and then on Friday we put out the review. So if you're into beard product unboxings, reviews, dry humor, learning how to maintain your man mane, then this is the channel for you. So subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and go ahead and hit that bell so you know when these videos drop. And if you happen to know what company we've been spending the week with, it is right here, and it is Tailored Beard Company. And I'm gonna tell you all about what I think of them right after this. So Tailored Beard Company is a very small batch, but uniquely designed company out of New Jersey. And I had an opportunity to talk with the owner, Scott, and what we talked about was his journey and what got him into these beard products. So Scott has had a beard for a very long time and never really groomed it. Uh, never used oils, balms, butters, anything along those lines. And year after year, he continued to grow and he decided that he was gonna try balm one time. He went with balms and just started using those until he ran across a little known company as the Luxurious Bastard. You see the humor there with little known? You know, I mean, it's a big company. So he kind of took in what he was doing, tried his stuff, and he loved it. And he's like, you know what? I inspire to be like this guy. This guy knows his stuff, makes my beard feel great. And I would love to be where this guy's at. So he put his head down and started researching and coming up with some stuff. So he's a, he has a full-time job. He also has a little business that he runs. He started, he helped his brother start his business. And when he's not doing that, he's researching. He's coming up with different uh, carrier blends that work for his beard, learning all about the carrier oils, and finally decided, you know what? It's time I mix some stuff up, see how it feels in my beard, and go from there. His whole goal was to come up with a classic feel, but a strong product. He likes the hold, he likes the nice look and feel of it, and I think he hit it out of the park with the look. So let's dig into oils, balms, butters, and the company overview. We'll rehash the initial FRS, and then we'll give them the final FRS for the week. Maybe give you guys a discount code, and maybe even a giveaway. So let's talk about the oils here. So here you can see this label, and it is like a paper label, so you got the brown paper. He designs all of these himself, so you got two circle labels, one on the front, one on the back. You got a brown amber bottle, and this oil feels really nice. So when he came up with the names, he's into rock and roll, so he wanted to come up with rock and roll type names. So you have like Rambling Man, Jersey Man, Piano Man, Southern Man. You have a lot of those things that end in man, and it really came from the rock and roll side of things. So when we talk about the carrier oil blends, let's just talk about that for a second. So you have jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, apricot kernel oil, castor oil, and grapeseed oil. Now I don't know about you, but that carrier oil blend is pretty on point for me, and I love it. As far as the scent profiles, oh my gosh, it is amazing. This guy comes up with the wildest things and they smell oh so good. So the first one I'm gonna go over with you here is Rambling Man. Rambling Man is bay rum and cherry. And it just mixes together so well. The first thing I get right out of the gate is cherry. So I get the cherry right away. But once you get it out and you mix it up and you put it in your beard, it changes a little bit and you get some more of that bay rum. Cherry as a fruit scent wears off a little earlier and the bay rum kind of comes out in the back end. Then there is Nowhere Man. So you can see the names are right up here, Nowhere Man. And Nowhere Man is French vanilla and pink grapefruit. So we're gonna give it a little snifferoo here. And this like right away smells like a creamsicle, but once you kind of pinpoint it down, you get grapefruit out of it, and then you get the sweetness with the vanilla as well. So again, this is one where the grapefruit kind of wears off, the vanilla sticks around, but it's not like a bitter grapefruit. 
it just blends together so well and I am absolutely blown away by what grapefruit can do in a beard oil and how it would mix up with French vanilla. These oils felt really nice in my beard. It has a lot of carrier oils that my beard really loves and soaks up. Um, it has a very nice scents. They're really nice out of the bottle. They're very nice in your beard. They don't quite last as long as I would like. I'm rating them around four hours and I gave him that feedback that I'd like to have some stronger scents. Make your scents a little bit stronger and you're, you're on to something big here. So I, I believe he's taken that in and some of the newer stuff he's making, he's increasing the scent strength a little bit and I would be very happy to see that. So overall FRS score, for the oils is 8.5. 8.5 on the FRS scale for the oils, and that is pretty darn well for oils. So let's talk about the balms a little bit here. So with the balms, you have the same design, which is awesome. So you got that paper label, you got the design on there, you can see his logo and then the text around. You got a two ounce twist top tin, which I really like, and then the back side, you have the same thing, a paper label that tells you the ingredients. So the ingredients realistically on the balms are the exact same as they are on the oils, but before that, he adds in things like beeswax, shea butter, cocoa butter, and these give you a nice, pretty heavy hold. So let's just twist this off here. Let's take a look at it. So right here, I have Nowhere Man. And when I first smell this, so here you can go, there's the look of it. When I first smell this, I'm like, whoa, this is quite a bit different than the actual oil. And I even said that on my review, on my unboxing is like, this is way different than the oil. And I'm kind of eating crow on that because yes, it is different, but it's not a different scent. You just pick up the different profiles right away. So when I smell this in the balm, I really pick up the French vanilla. And I told him about that. I'm like, your scents are way different. And he's like, well, have you tried to get it in beard? And I said, well, yeah, of course. And he's like, what'd you think after it was in beard? And I'm like, well, it went together really well. He said, I designed it that way. I designed them to go well together. So when you pair up the same scent, you put the balm in, it gives a little bit more. So this balm, in my opinion, gives it more French vanilla. I do get a little bit of grapefruit out of it, but I get more of the French vanilla. And then we have the Rambling Man one. Same thing here. I thought it smelled a little bit different, but I have to go back on that. It's, you don't get any beeswax butters or anything like that. You don't get any of that. You do get the scent profile, just the scent profile smells a little bit different. And it's because he does it a little bit different to pair them up to go well together. So here you can see that it's a really nice uh, look and feel. Let's just see how it comes out. Now these were made to be a little bit harder of a hold. So when you grab it, it takes a little bit to get out and it's pretty tacky. And I don't really think that's a bad thing. When you mix it up, it feels kind of waxy in your hand, but that was something he was going for, is he wanted it to hold like waxy, but not feel waxy. And I definitely got that out of it. It feels, in my hand, it feels kind of tacky and waxy, but in the beard, it just goes in so nice and it gives me the hold and the feel that I want. It's very conditioning and puts a hold in there. So I'm really, really digging the balms. And this is definitely my style of balm. It does remind me of Lux on the balm side. Not quite as hard to get out, but it has that thickness and that feel. When you put it in the beard, it feels a lot the same. So I could tell but even before we had the conversation that he's got somewhat inspired by Lux. So when I'm given an FRS score for the balms, the balms are coming in at 7.7. .7. And the reason they're coming in at 7.7 .7 was solely the scent difference. A lot of people really want the scent and the oil to match up in scents, uh, smells, and strengths. And the way I rate is the scent versus the oil. So I really think this probably should have been a little bit higher, um, but to keep my scale normal, I wanted to rate the scent versus the scent on the oil, and this is completely different. So it got really low ranking on the scent versus the oil scent. But to know that he creates these a little bit different to go with the oil, that's kind of unique and not something that we would really be thinking about when we create a ranker, right? So a little asterisk nest to that one because it doesn't smell exactly like the oil, but it pairs very well with the oil to make the scent profile 
that he's created. So now we get into his newest creation, which was Beard Butter. And if you follow him on Instagram, he's posted a few things on Beard Butter and it looks really good. Uh, so I was excited to try it out. And what I got was Jersey Man. So you can see the presentation is exactly the same as the balm, except for it says butter instead of balm. And what you have in this one is vanilla and grapefruit, amber, one of my favorites. So you got vanilla, pink grapefruit, and amber. And here's how the butter looks. So this is not a whipped butter. This is not a creamy butter. It looks a lot like a balm. Um, but it kind of takes a little bit to get out. But when you kind of pull it and get it out here, so let's just do this. We'll get some out. So it comes out pretty hard feeling. But then you put it in your hand and just like the way that it mixes up is insane. It like starts a little hard, but then it turns into like the most creamy thing ever. And you put it in your beard and it feels good. It's moisturizing. It does give some hold. So this gives some hold and I used it at night. The scent isn't overpowering. I think it could be a little bit stronger to be honest with you, uh, but it gave it a little bit of hold. I could still smell it. Uh, you know, when I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, I couldn't quite smell it after a full night worth of sleep. But this is a good night scent, to be honest with you. This is a good day scent. I mean, I'd wear this anytime. This is just good. But I like vanilla and amber, uh, and the grapefruit really adds to it as well. So this has shea butter, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, coconut oil, and castor oil. So a little bit different on the carrier blend. No waxes up in here. It does feel kind of waxy right away and it holds a little wax, but no wax in it to start off. I think this butter is a really big hit. I like it. Um, I'm definitely gonna go order some more. He just released a, a couple new scents. So I'm pumped about those. You got like a strawberry tobacco or something crazy like that. I don't even know what it is, but he has a tobacco scent that he just released. And I'm gonna go order another scent from him too because this made me a big believer in these new startup companies that do their research and try to model themselves after what else they see in success. And I really, really, really appreciate that and like that because they're paying attention to what works and then they're making it their own. So I love his theme, I love his labels, I love talking to him. And that all goes into the company FRS score. So real quick, to finish out the butters, the butters FRS score come in at 8.4. 8.4 on the butters. I like. He's gonna be improving these even more and I'm excited to see if he gets above nine because he's real close. He's so close to nailing this down and I think a little bit more scent strength and things like that and he'd be right there. On the company side of it, he was great to talk to, very communicative, he's got hats. He does cool things like patches, you can get patches when you order. Um, he's got shirts, hats. The website's a pretty nice design, easy to navigate, works well. The presentation was great, the design is great. So on the FRS score for the company, 8.3. 8.3 for the company overall. So how we get our final FRS scores, we're gonna divide up oil, balm, butter, and company. We're gonna add them up, divide by four, and that's what the company FRS score is. With an asterisk on this one because the bombs got scored lower than they should have, but that's just something, the way the scale works. And in the unboxing, I gave them an initial FRS score of 7.5. The final FRS score, after a week's worth of testing, talking to them, getting to know the products, is 8.2. 8.2 FRS score. I think this is amazing. He is brand new, only a couple months old, and he's in the eights already. So he did his research, he spends all his free time researching, and I am super glad that I stumbled across this company and got to try them out, and I can't wait to order more products from them. Um, I really dig this, it's been my go-to nighttime butter, the bombs have been the hold that I've been looking for, just how I like them. So I have nothing negative to say right now other than match the balm scent to the oil scent uh, just for consumers that grab it and pick it up and want it to smell the same um, and don't know the madness behind it. So that's it for that. So join us tonight on the live stream. We do have a coupon code for you guys and it is FIRST15. That gives you 15% off your first order and based on how many people we can get in the live stream tonight to come out and show support for Tailored Beard Company, we're gonna have a giveaway. So if en if we get over 50 viewers at any point, I'm gonna do a random giveaway for 
an oil bomb butter combo from Taylor Beer Company. That's sponsored by me because I think somebody needs to try this out. So go ahead and try out that first 15 coupon, save yourself some money. And then tonight, if, share this with your friends and family, promote the live stream tonight. And if we get everybody up above 50, we're gonna do some giveaways for some people. Maybe we might do two or three, I don't know. We're gonna get crazy, I bet. So. Let me know down below what you guys think of this review and Taylor Beard Company, if you've tried them out, if you haven't, or what scent you might like. Head on over to their website, check out the scents because they're pretty crazy. If you're a rock and roll fan, you're gonna love it. So you're gonna love the names, you're gonna love talking to him and the company. So it reminds me a lot of Luxurious Bastard, a little bit different, but I kind of got that feel and that look and it just was kind of a little creepy this week how close it was. He's got some work to do to catch up and I think he's gonna put in the time and effort to do it because he's a determined soul. So I'm pumped to see what he does in the future. I hope you guys check it out and join us on the live stream tonight. So until I talk to you guys again tonight, grab your bang, grab your coffee, stroke that Jersey man filled man mane and God bless. You all.